800-951-0592, Patriot Radio News Hour, Joe and Jason here on this Wednesday. Uh, we're talking about the announcement out of First Republic, CNBC, David Faber's reporting. First Republic's warning to the big banks that put $30 billion uh, into First Republic that they either, A, need to overpay for its debt, and apparently, First Republic saying we can lose two billion dollars. That's it. That's all we can do. And if we do that, we, we've got a, a, a set up where we can uh, issue stock and do this and that and blah blah blah. And if you don't, well, you can talk to the FDIC uh, about the thirty billion dollar haircut they're going to get. So uh, interesting news, but it's a it's a good time to remind people about Dodd Frank. You know, that was the you know, most people know it as too big to fail. That was that was the laws that they came up with. Now, a bunch of the laws they came up with already got repealed. Some people out there were saying, well those laws that got repealed led, led to Silicon Valley Bank's problem. Right? Led, led, led to these problems. I don't know. Maybe. But the parts that didn't get repealed, guess what didn't get repealed? All the things pertaining to the depositors. At any time, any bank, if they deem it to be a quote-unquote emergency, and by the way, there's no rules of what an emergency is, they can tell you no. I want my money. No. Uh-uh. Sorry. Right? First Republic. Right? Exactly. I think First Republic. I think if I'm reading this right... First Republic just told that to, to J.P. Morgan and B of A, right? Merrill, let's say, no, we ain't giving you your money. We'll give it to the FDIC. It'll be their problem. They also, listen, it doesn't matter what account it is. All of a sudden, money markets? Well, money market, that, that that's not really in the bank. Right now. What, what, what do you mean you can tell me I can't have my money? Oh, yeah. Yep. Nope. Can't do it. Well, I, I got my, 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 my stock accounts, my E-trades and my Schwab accounts. Uh-uh. Same rules supply. My 401k at work, I could just go in to HR and, and tell them that uh, not only do I want to stop my 401k, you know what, I want to, I want to, I want to go to cash. I want you to tell the administrator to just get me out of stocks altogether. Uh, sorry. No, you're going to have to stay right there. I mean, the uh, IRAs, 401ks, you name it, all of them are subject at the whim of the banks. And the SEC and the Federal Reserve and the FDIC, they can block you at any moment and tell you no. That's the facts. On top of, obviously, bail-ins and the rest of course, everyone knows now. The FDIC, the FDIC doesn't have any money. They only had $128 billion before Silicon Valley Bank went under. Right now, First, <laughs> First Republic saying, well, you know, hey, someone's going to be getting hit with a $30 billion hatchet job, right? J- Jason, these are things people need to know. That's funny because uh, all Dodd Frank really did was take what's a, what's a natural law and make it into a legal law, which is whoever holds it owns it. Now, yeah, you may loan it to somebody and you want it back, but that person owns it if he has it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he owes you, and there can be a big fight. But if the guy doesn't give it back to you, then it becomes you know that's how wars get started, right? And and so natural law is he who holds it owns it and you gave it to the bank right. and they owned it they just simply put it into words joe that's all they did it's like hey you know what this is the way it works here we'll just put it on paper it's so really nobody, not yours you can't yeah. really you can't start a war with us because you signed on it sorry the company your 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 money's what's having problems right now so uh it's technically their money and we're just putting it into to legal speak so everybody knows now of course uh we didn't say that on tv Right, Barney Frank didn't say that on Fox News. Nope, sure didn't. Chris Dodd didn't tell you. Oh no, he said, "Oh, we fixed the problem with this stuff." Did Barney Frank even know it was in there? 
<laughs> well, listen, they gave, and let me tell you right now, Barney Frank was on the board of Signature Bank. That tells you all you need to know, okay? <laughs> right? These guys are a bunch of clowns, but that's why we're so popular. 800 951 Zero five nine two. I got three different specials today. We had five dollar liberties from yesterday. I still have some of those left. That's a great deal at six hundred and thirty dollars. A better deal. Well, I don't know about better because it'll be less per ounce, but it's it's not as fractional. I've got ten dollar liberties. Eleven hundred and ninety. That is uh, just. I love that price, you know, below twelve hundred dollars. Uh that's twenty three hundred and eighty dollars. That's a hundred and twenty dollars below what a twenty is going for. I mean it's just just absolutely incredible. And then I've got some options on platinum. I'm gonna give you the options on platinum and then yeah, I don't know if I'll have enough time. If I have enough time we'll get into why it is Platinum's going to go run, and it's the same reason why I gave it to you earlier this year. So I've got two options on platinum. A plat, a one ounce platinum bar. So just exactly what it is. It's an ounce of platinum, comes in a little card. Uh, it's a, it's a bar in bar form, $1,275. Platinum's like 1100 bucks right now. 1275 If you want a U.S. Platinum Eagle coin also a one ounce coin well this one's a coin not a bar uh the only difference is it's minted by our the u.s mint uh 1395 dollars for the platinum eagle or 1275 dollars on the platinum bar and jason a big story coming out of south africa where most of the platinum is mined, uh, and, and, and already platinum was projected to, to have a large deficit this year. Kind of, you know, we talked about silver the other day and, and the silver deficit. South Africa is now saying that worsening power blackouts are putting global pl- uh, platinum production at risk. And they're saying that money now, significant money, is starting to flow into these platinum ETFs. Jason, I think we're, we're probably going to see a, a pretty big sp- a spike in platinum, especially with South Africa saying, because they've had this problem for a long time. And now with what's going on with Russia, Ukraine, the price of oil, uh, it, it was just a matter of time before a lot of platinum production goes offline. Yeah, we'll talk maybe a little more on the other side. It's, it's interesting how rhodium has been coming down as platinum's getting stronger also because that's what it used to be. Rhodium was never 25000 before. Platinum wasn't below gold. And now it's kind of going back, isn't it? We'll be right back, guys. Stay with us. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Joe and Jason, Patriot Radio News Hour here on this Wednesday. Uh, gold's up four right now, nineteen ninety eight. Silver's up twenty five cents, uh, fifteen eleven. Uh, we are talking about uh, platinum, uh, South Africa, the largest platinum. It's not even close. Uh, they dominate uh, the the platinum market. Seventy percent of all platinum comes from South Africa. Uh, Impala Platinum, the largest platinum producer, says they've been running reduced power every single day since la- well since the end of last year. They're saying that the South Africa's uh, electrical producer, their state electricity company, ESCOM, has told them that the power problem is going to most likely get worse. Uh, according to the Impala CEO, if things we are likely to have a worse period than what we've been facing and said if it gets worse, we will get to the point where there will be days where we send no miners underground. So, Jason, this is a big development here. Uh, the, it looks like the best-case scenario in South Africa on these platinum miners 
is the run what they're doing now, which is limited. In other words, hey, maybe we could send down, I don't know, a hundred miners. But we don't have that type of power. We can only send down fifty. Right? Now all of a sudden the power companies come back saying, dude, it's not enough. And now the platinum producers are saying there's going to be days where we may not be able to send anybody down. Right, and mining is not just miners, it's a lot of equipment, and that's probably what's being shut off. You can only run the equipment at a certain right. level for, for all day, or you can run it at full power for half the day. That's that's probably right. a, lot, a lot of it. You know, just getting air down there, right? Because, you know, the, these mines are deep, right? You know, it takes power. Uh, to, to, you know, it, like run the jackhammers, run all this other stuff. Uh, so, uh, again, I think Platinum was setting up already uh, to make a big run here. You know, I made that call uh, at the beginning of the year, and obviously it's it's uh, happening. You know, Platinum bottomed out at around $900 late last year. Uh, one ounce Platinum bars at twelve seventy five. dollars One ounce Platinum U.S. Eagles at thirteen ninety five. On the gold side of things, $5 Liberties at $630. Uh, and then the best buy, if you're like, hey, what's my best price per ounce where I can be as private as possible? $10 Liberties at 1190 at 800-951-0592. I wish I had better news, uh, but my favorite guy, the, there's, there's some people that, that I listen to more than others. Jeff Gunlotch, Stan Drunken Miller. These are the two guys. If you would say to me, Joe, who's the two guys when they talk, you, you listen the most. They're, they're probably the top two in my book. And everyone's got different guys, right? They, there's different people, uh, that they follow. Uh, but Stanley Drunken Miller came out and was talking about there's a new favorite theme that's traveling the world, which is called U.S. Dollar debasement. He says that it is taken hold, and that he is betting against the dollar, and it's his only high conviction train. So, in other words, he goes, "Listen, this is this is my stone cold lead pipe lock of the week. If I was only going to place one bet, this was it." Jason, he's betting against the dollar uh, in 2023, which tells me. He's betting that come next week, Jay Powell's going to open the door for no more rate hikes. Yeah, that that would be the most likely play. I, you would you would think that after uh, next week, it would go to just halting, and you would think they'd want if they want to have this soft landing that they keep uh, bragging about. Uh, you would you would I would say you you stay halted for quite a while, but that's when uh, all the economic news of the day will will, will play a, a big role in. Hey, are they going to reduce rates and start printing? Because I think they will not reduce rates and start printing until a massive emergency, but way bigger than the few banks that closed recently. They need a massive emergency to, to reduce rates. And I, you know, they can manufacture that themselves, or they already know it's coming, and they just know the timing of it. Right, right. And you know what I love about uh, Stan Drunk and Miller? He'll tell you when he's wrong. He goes, you know what, one of the biggest misses, the guy's been doing this 45 years, biggest misses of my career. He goes, I missed the U.S. dollar rally last year. Remember, we talked about this, right? It was the best year the dollar had ever. And he goes, he goes, and the reason I missed it, he goes, I just couldn't bring myself to buy Joe Biden and Jay Powell. And man, does that not make a lot of sense. I get it, right? We got two patsies, uh, but this is why uh, he's saying, hey, guess what? Once a patsy, always a patsy, right, Jason? I think what, what, what he probably missed is he really didn't have a grasp of how much money the Fed has actually been printing that we don't know about. Yeah, that's the one thing that uh, we'll be looking at. We can speculate all the way up, but we won't know until somebody does a FOIA request, I guess. Is that going to have to happen again 10 years later? And I, I believe there's a – I told you – I said a while back, Joe, last year, I said, I think they're going to be raising rates and printing money at the same time to, to make this work. And we just don't know. They they could have been printing all the way through 2022 while they're raising rates. We right. we don't know because they, they made know. it a secret. So it makes a lot of sense. The inflation's still here. It's lowered. It's going down. 
This is why I think there's going to be a tremendous inflationary smashing us later this year or next year. It's coming back, and it's because I don't think they're telling us what they're doing. Historically, this is Drunk Miller. Historically, I would not say Jay Powell is a profile of courage. Tells you all you need to know. 800-951-0592. Joe and Jason wrapping up on a Wednesday. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason here wrapping up on this Wednesday. Uh, not a not a real encouraging day, uh, especially when you think uh, about First Republic uh, now saying, "Hey, listen, we're insolvent, right? Uh, obviously, uh, and either all you banks step up and overpay." For our debt, and by the way, we can lose $2 billion, and then we'll come up with some form of recapitalization plan. Or we'll go to the FDIC as a bank failure. uh, David Faber is reporting that time is of the essence. Uh, So that tells me, Jason, I I would assume this deal has to be done by this weekend, or we may have another one of these uh, Sunday closings uh, of a bank by the FDIC. Yeah, I, uh, I I fully believe that by the end of the year there'll be more of these bank struggles going on. So I, uh, <laughs> you know, we look how fast Silicon Valley Bank closed down. They couldn't get to the weekend. And uh, you know, when you go for it on fourth down and you don't make it uh, to the weekend, <laughs> that's not doesn't doesn't show a very uh, uh, I don't know, satisfying situation for these banks. And uh, with with the you know the Republic Bank's story that you talked about earlier today, how you know it's funny how you said Barney Frank was involved in Signature Bank. Probably the, the fact that the, why they got out first. How's that? It's always. <laughs> In, mar- in margin call, remember that the, the head guy comes in. He's a, he's like, we either got to be good, we got to be smart, we got to cheat, or we got to be first. He's like, I think we have some pretty smart guys, but I don't know how smart we are compared to everybody else. And I don't cheat, so it's better just to be first. <laughs> so, so these banks that got out first, Silicon Valley Bank and, and Signature Bank, Republic. Uh, I, I feel sorry for the banks that are, are, are trying to hold on, Joe, because they're, they're not going to get saved. They, they can't save all these banks. Right now, I'm I'm got a ticker here. First Republic is down to six dollars and sixty one cents. Uh, so this is a uh, a new low. Uh, the, the, it, it is uh, today has hit a new low. It's been as low as four dollars and eighty cents, but right now down uh, almost twenty percent here. This is this takes out the low from the crisis. Uh, about a month ago, uh, they got down to eight dollars and change, so they're below that now. Uh, we'll have to to wait and see. Uh, and then the, the the bigger question is, what does this do to other banks if there is no relief? Right? Uh, obviously, I don't think uh, J P Morgan or B of A or whoever else lent the money uh, to First Republic. Obviously, I, I believe 100% that they are under the impression the FDIC is going to give them their money back, right? You know, hey, you're going to give us our $10 billion or $20 billion. They, it was a total of $30 billion in total. Hey, we're going to get our money back. Uh, I don't know what that means for any depositors. Obviously, if the banks go for the plan, then uh, we'll have this u- u- new unique situations where other banks now, maybe that's going to be the new thing. Hey, we got to bail out all these other banks uh, to, to ensure uh, that the that the uh, the myth that is this banking system continues. Yeah, we'll see. It sure, it sure uh, this this update for uh, Republic Bank sure sounds a lot like Silicon Valley or uh, excuse me, yes. Silicon Valley Bank, yes, at the beginning of this thing. It's, it, it's just crashing on them, and, and they got hey, help. They're, they're, uh, this is, I feel like they're, they're trying to set up a Bear Stearns, right? Well, you give me $2, right? Of course, the problem is, well, you're only worth one. It's a radio news hour. God bless. Hey, Jason and I, we're coming right back with the Half Empty Cup. <laughs> 